Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. Now, over the last few months, I've had the opportunity to ride this CAD 12 behind me with rim brakes, a departure from my usual experience of disc brake equipped road bikes. And has riding this bike changed my mind and my view on disc versus rim brake? Well, maybe. This video isn't another rim versus disc brake video, don't worry about that. Instead, I'm gonna share my experience of being back on rim brakes after years and years of riding and testing and owning disc brake road bikes. And it's worth me saying up front that I do find it amusing that some people accuse me of being paid to promote disc brakes by the bike industry, but that couldn't be further from the truth. If it was true, I'd be a rich man, but I'm definitely not, let me assure you of that. This is my own personal opinion based on riding bikes for most of my life. Now, as a tech enthusiast, I enjoy testing and riding the latest products, but I have been genuinely curious about the ongoing debate surrounding rim and disc brakes in the cycling world. So let's rewind the clock a bit and go back to the 1990s, where I witnessed the transformative impact of new technologies in the mountain biking world when I really got hooked on the sport. And I can attest personally to the game changing nature of firstly fee brakes and later disc brakes. These innovations, amongst many others, revolutionized mountain bikes. They became a lighter, more reliable, safer, faster, and most importantly, the braking performance improved massively. And once I and many others experienced the superior braking performance of disc brakes, going back to old caliper and rim brakes became inconceivable. However, the road cycling domain has relied on rim brakes for a long, long time, over a century now. And they serve riders in that time just fine. And I've probably spent more of my cycling life riding road bikes with rim brakes than with disc brakes up until now. The rim versus disc brake debate became prominent around about 10 years ago now, with disc brakes gradually making their way on the drop bar bike, starting with cyclocross, and then expanding into endurance, and then finally road race bikes, which are now prevalent in the professional peloton and winning races like the Tour de France. And despite a lot of protest and social media outrage, they have been successful. The entire industry has shifted towards disc brakes, and while you can still purchase rim brake models, they have become less common, especially in the mid to high end. Rim brakes are still featured on more affordable, cheaper entry-level bikes, but that will change over the next five to 10 years. And I've not been sent a rim brake road bike to test in, well, I can't actually remember the last one I got sent. Now, my experience with rim brakes on a CAD 12 has been interesting. With aluminum wheels and upgraded dual compound brake blocks, the braking performance in a dry is actually pretty good. A nice grabby feel at the levers, plenty of power and quite a reassuring and responsive feel. So all good really, not as bad as I remember it being. Moreover, rim brakes are lightweight, especially compared to hydraulic disc brakes, which contributes to the overall agility and low weight of this mid-range aluminum road bike, which helps me on the hilly terrain I ride it on. Additionally, the ease of adjustment is a practical advantage as well. And if you've never used hydraulic disc brakes, definitely seems a lot easier. Unfortunately, my experience of carbon fiber rim brakes isn't all that great. And I've been doing this long enough and testing bikes long enough to remember when carbon rims were being introduced for the first time and replacing aluminum with all their aero benefits. But a braking performance back then wasn't great at all. It did get a bit better with advances in the materials on the brake track and the brake block materials themselves, but never really a good match for a nice aluminum wheel set. And it seems by riding these hump wheels more recently that things haven't got any better at all. With these wheels fitted and using the company's own supplied brake blocks, the braking delivers what can be best described as a pulsing sensation through the levers. And that initial bite and reassurance from the brakes isn't on the same level as the aluminum wheels I had on the bike to start with. The feeling at the brake lever just isn't as reassuring and hasn't done much to change my view of carbon fiber rim brakes at all. And when it comes to wet weather, and we've had a very wet July here, 
the memories of inferior room brake performance come back to the surface and that's not a good thing at all. While my local area may lack extensive mountain descents, there are steep hills with T-junctions that demand quick and reliable stopping power. And sometimes you might have a car pull out in front of you because you're not riding on closed roads. And in such situations, the limitation of rim brakes become apparent, especially when compared to consistent and reliable performance of disc brakes. So sadly, after being back on rim brakes for several months now, I'm not sure I'll be making a U-turn and selling all my disc brake road bikes and getting back on rim brakes. Because having experienced both braking systems extensively over the last 10 or 15 years, I must admit that disc brakes have won me over. I prefer the reliable and consistent performance in all weather conditions, dry and wet. And the concerns raised about issues like weight and adjustment are not really obstacles for me at all. The benefits definitely outweigh the disadvantages of disc brakes compared to rim brakes. Nonetheless though, I'm not content with the disappearance of rim brakes as a viable option for people who want rim brakes and don't need or want disc brakes. I believe that cyclists should have the freedom to choose the braking system that best suits their preference and riding style. And it is unfortunate that rim brakes are slowly being phased out due to this increasing popularity of disc brakes. The reality is though, as consumers, our choices ultimately shape the market. If there had been a stronger demand for rim brakes at a time when rim brakes and disc brakes were offered on bikes at the same time, then we might be in a different situation and place right now. Complaining about it on social media is not enough. You need to act with your wallet. In conclusion then, my experience with rim brakes on the CAD 12 behind me has not changed my preference or mind on disc brakes at all. I appreciate the significant advantages they offer in terms of consistent performance and reliable braking in various conditions. And they downsize the penalties aren't really an issue for me at all. So long live the disc brake. I know that comment is gonna inflame a lot of you and the comments will be interesting to read after the video goes live. And I can assure you this video isn't deliberately designed to inflame you and cause a reaction. Just me being honest, and share my own humble experience of riding rim brakes after testing, riding, and owning disc brake road bikes for the last few years, and the pros and cons, the good and the bad. Definitely a place for both, and I'd love to see both coexist alongside each other, but if I'm buying a road bike, I'm buying a disc brake road bike, and not just because of the limited choices, it's because I think they're better, superior system, and any downsides, for me, aren't really downsides at all. There's more benefits, that outweigh the negative in my experience. And that's based on testing these bikes for years and years. And if you're happy on rim brakes, that's fine. I'm not gonna try and sway you for rim brakes or disc brakes. That's never been my, my focus with my reviews here at Just Ride Bikes. If you want rim brakes, fine, I'm happy. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see another video on uh, disc brakes, then watch this one up here. But that's all today. I'll see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for watching.